This video we're going to look at creating icon sets in Excel. I'll first begin by selecting a group of data that I like to compare against each other. On the home tab of the conditional formatting command I have the icon sets command. So what's happening here as I hover over these options here, I'll be breaking the data down into th either groups of three four, if I choose an icon set with four, even five, fifths with uh, icon sets of five. What I want to do is break it down in groups of three. So I'll just start off with a three, three circle shapes here. Now, among our first look here, we see that the higher numbers are green. We have Boulder, Denver, and Santa Fe here green. But what, let's say I wanted to... Uh, control the settings so that green um, is going to be 200 or higher and a yellow circle will put me in the range between let's say 50 and uh, 199 and then red is going to be less than 50 so basically 49 or, or lower there. Okay, so I can change the settings with conditional format. I'll select the cells, go to conditional formatting, manage rules. From here, I have the ability to change the settings by clicking on edit rule. It will take me into the settings here. So my current look here is we've got 67%, 33% are our markings here. Trick, just go into the number setting here will say that when the value is greater than or equal to 200 I like to have a green circle I'll change my next one to a number I'll put that at 50 okay and not only that I also have the ability to customize in Excel 2010 or 2013 you do have the ability to change the settings 2007 Excel, you can create your own scenarios here, but you can't blend them together. So I'd like to have a red flag if we're less than 50. So there we go. We hit OK. And they're OK. And um, we get a different scenario here looking at that. Now, um, let's test it out here. So let's make Colorado Springs drop to 49. It's a red flag. Let's make Colorado Springs jump to 205. Should turn green. So that's pretty cool, right? You have the ability to also create a legend as well. So what I'm going to do is just delete these cells here and type a quick number here. We're not going to see these in a moment here. So just Realize that these numbers I'm typing are just going to key in. I'll use the Format Painter here. After I've clicked on a cell that contains conditional form, you can use a Format Painter to copy over those cells. So that gave me the conditional format. It also gave me the borders, which I can remove if I don't want those. Um, but basically, we're going to take those out, uh, the numbers, by going to Conditional Form Manage Rules. There's one setting I want to share with you. It's the Show Icon Only. This will allow us to have the same settings, except you're not going to see those numbers I just put in there. Hit OK. There we are. And I've got the ability now to, I should be able to, okay, so pretty cool stuff there, right? The ability to manage a legend and have the data settings similar to that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.